Hello, and welcome to my channel. I'll be reading something for you. It's from 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 4 through 8, and it's the New International Version. It reads, love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast. It is not proud, it does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no records of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails, but where there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will be stilled. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. Typically, I, as a spiritualist, wouldn't read something from the Bible. But I have never denied that information within the Bible is helpful to our journey within life. Even when you think about the acronyms of the Bible, B-I-B-L-E, Basic Instructions Before Leaving Earth. And I think about how there is information that can be received and understood at different levels. The reason that I chose to speak about this within this video is because I thought about how an avocado has a seed. And typically in an avocado, the seed looks the same. When I think about us as spiritual beings having a human experience, the body may look different, but within all of us is this abundant light that is tailored to our own soul's journey. And as a spiritualist, it's about that journey that we have to follow. And within religion, religion is more about the life of Jesus Christ. But I enjoy the idea of traditional spiritualism because it allows us to have a journey that is tailored to our own soul's journey, if that makes sense. Hopefully it did. <laughs> but when I thought about making this video or doing the vo voiceover, it was about this particular verse or chapters from the Bible. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 4 through 8. And then after creating some videos, I received some comments saying that I speak slow. And it's hard for the attention span of viewers to keep along and to be able to, you know, re retain, like, to, re to be able to watch the video and stay engaged. And in the past, when I was younger, I did have a speech impediment. And because I'm aware of that and also aware of the way that manifestation works, I often speak slower so that my mind and the words that I am going to use can align and also so that I can manifest in real time something that is honoring the present moment for myself. When you think about manifestation and how every action has a maybe reaction or a consequence. 
And although the consequence can be very something very minor, something very small, as a spiritual being, I am aware of it. And it has been something that I have understood since the beginning of my awakening. So I have been very careful with the words that I use and making sure that they align with the present moment. I am also aware that the information that I speak about, if it's not right for the viewer, it's not right. You know, like if it doesn't resonate, it doesn't resonate. Let's use that. But I'm also aware of how many other YouTubers probably speak the same way, probably have a awareness of some of the same things that I have awareness to. And so that allows me to continue being true to myself and to worry less about the subscribers and the viewers going down and be proud of myself for being able to create content, knowing that there are so many people in this world that would rather sit at their house and comment something negative. And no, I'm not talking about the people that commented that I was speaking slow because it was very helpful and I'm very grateful. So I wouldn't want you to think that, but if you do, you do. What I can say though is the part where it says in the Corinthians chapter 13, verse four through eight, it says, where there are tongues, they will be stilled. And something that I became in alignment with is divine feminine energy and how the divine masculine gives to the divine feminine so that the divine feminine can create more, so that the feminine can produce more. And when you think about a female that is having, you know, you know, the masculine is giving the seed to the feminine so the feminine can produce offspring or, you know, the gift or child to the world. And within all of us as beings is divine feminine and divine masculine energy. We just have energies that we operate from. Anyway, the reason that I brought this up is because I asked on this channel how I could or what was the reason that subscribers, you know, maybe weren't as engaged compared to other channels that speak about maybe less interesting things or things that I would think would be just as interesting as some of the things I speak about. And I had some comments about uh, my speech being slow. And so now for a, a little, I questioned, is my speech really slow? <laughs> and then I thought, you know what? My content is for who it's for. And I'm pretty sure, 100% sure that there are other creators that speak just as slow. And so with that knowledge and that awareness and the knowledge of the divine feminine template, I realized that I have to be able to receive what the divine is allowing me. And as a medium... I realize that it is a sign for me. It is a sign for me. And being able to receive it and not being, not having a reaction to the comment, but being able to receive it, that's how I have the awareness that I am in alignment with my purpose. It doesn't matter if only two people watch this video or three people, how many ever, I realize that I am perfect just the way I am, and so are you. 
The next time you're in the receiving mode, try to remember to allow your tongue to be stilled. Although your mind is thinking whatever it's thinking. In meditation, this is the same thing that you're trying to achieve. You're trying to allow the thoughts to be there without having to respond to them, but allowing them. And this is the same thing that you do to be able to receive the abundance from the divine. Allow what is being received to be received. Remember, you are enough and don't allow anyone to tell you different. Much love to you all. Love you all.